in our work together, uh, what is your uh, hope for uh, the rebirth that you are feeling and experiencing in our work together? And so I just was hoping that you could uh, share your perspective on that, that concept of, um, of passing. What do you want to pass on uh, in your, from your perspective? Personally, as I um, am now a grandmother, or in, uh, as my grandchildren call me, uh, a bubby, um, I, I think about my legacy to uh, the early years and to the early childhood education community that I've been a part of for so many years. And um, I think that we get, we sometimes arrive at a time when we're when we've been doing something for, for decades that we think we know everything, <laughs> that, but we don't know what we don't know. And um, I did not really truly understand what it meant to consider culturally appropriate early childhood education for Indigenous and non-Indigenous young children. And through this work, through the York Region Nature Collaborative and the work that um, I'm doing with Hopi and Johnny, that we have this chance to, to rejuvenate early, the early years. We have a chance to be born again and start learning from, from this little seed and, and to then to go through the, the movement and the cycle of, of the seasons. So um, the land gives us that. The land is, is what nurtures this, this rebirth. And I think when children come to this, this is our Bush Early Years Center that we've uh, worked together with uh, the Conservation Authority at Lake St. George to create for children and um, for Indigenous and non-Indigenous children and early childhood educators to walk together on this land, to learn together, to have fun, as Johnny says, you know, to have fun, to play, um, but to play in a, in a respectful, reciprocal way. And um, to me, I feel like, you know, I've been born again in um, the possibilities for and the potential for my own learning and in what I do is I try to bring that learning to others and um, I think there's great potential that early childhood educators are are at a very pivotal position to be able to do this work because the early years are so fundamental and um and, and I think that it, it is something that will rejuvenate um, and uh, give us that feeling of rebirth. Thank you, Witch. So we have to stand up for our little ones. And this brings much more joy to, to having the, the, the early years here, you know, and, and uh, that, that this quality is available to all little kids. This quality of living, learning, having an open mind, being teachable, and how how do you pass that that uh, experience on to the little ones? You know, and uh, sometimes it's just watching them play and reminding them that don't hurt yourself or don't go over there, don't go too far, and having fun. You know, like the stuff like that, right? Having a good time with our kids and. Uh, you know, so I had to learn how to be a parent, a healthy, loving parent. And I've been going to ceremonies for over 30 years. And, and uh, since I turned my life around and uh, it's done wonders for me, it's put a lot of beautiful people in my path, Diane and Hopi here and countless others, you know, and there's a big community rising for the early years. You know, and, and, and their families, not just the babies, not just the parents, but their family, the whole family, aunts, uncles, cousins, relatives, you know, extended family. We have a lot of extended family doing this work. So, miigwech. Miigwech, miigwech, miigwech.